Okay, welcome back, and here we go now. We're going to be uh, meeting two players on uh, this year's team for the East LA uh, College Huskies. And first of all, we're going to go right past Coach Blanco and speak to Lizzie Lopez. How are you doing, Lizzie? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Welcome to the show. I'm doing Thank well. Thank you. Okay, lots of good things your coach has for you. And, uh, we really like the academics, a 3.75, uh, my goodness. But uh, your, um, your batting average is, is a little bit higher than that, so that's got to be very good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, tell us about your uh, attraction and your uh, coming to East LA College. H how did you finally get to be with, with Coach Blanco? Um, what attracted me more is I like the way she approaches her players when she came out to recruit me in high school. Mm -hmm. I like her style of coaching, and I know most of the girls on the team because mm -hmm. I played with them before, mm -hmm. and just I knew that the chemistry was going to be so great, and we were going to do really good. Okay. Position-wise, you you've got a very difficult... Oh, yeah. Dual position, your catcher and a shortstop. Yeah, it's so hard. So that, that's tough. Yeah. Um, what, what drove you to, to really get into those positions? Um, I've always played shortstop anywhere in the infield. Mm -hmm. And catching, I just started when I was maybe like 11 years old. Okay. When I started playing. And I moved into the infield more. And then I started catching again. Okay. But I like both positions equally. Okay. Now we'll ask uh, Coach Blanco to give us a, a little bit of the summary as to how she went and, and spoke to your parents and, and finally recruited you. Well, um, Lizzie comes from uh, Whittier High School, where her um, teammate over here, Ariana, also comes from Whittier High School. So um, I was uh, really involved with the team uh, going to watch their games. We hosted a Whittier High School tournament. Um, but I saw Lizzie right out of the you know start. She was an amazing kid as a junior, and um, she was playing like a senior. So um, I just really talked to her about uh, you know the potential here. Um, I knew that uh, she's able, she would be able to transfer because she has the ability and the academic ability as well so just a lot of just uh, assurance that we will guide her to the right spot you know next year okay. and uh, she's gonna do great here and she has been she has okay. been doing great wonderful okay that's always a the good rapport that's established between coach player and of course the family uh, we'll get into that a little bit later on but uh, Lizzie uh, you're hitting out of the number three spot uh, you comfortable there you, you like that yeah I do I actually love it okay. I love it and your on-base percentage is pretty good um, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. And you're a freshman. This is, again, your first year. Yeah, my first year program. playing. Uh, some of the academics you're focusing on, do you, have you declared a major yet? Or are you still, as they say, feeling, uh, feeling your way through? Yeah, I'm still, like, working towards the general right now, just okay. focusing more on that. So. Okay. Um, now, we're going to um, switch right over to your fellow uh, classmate from last year now again here you're, you're joined up with uh, your, your former teammate and this is Ariana Atwater let's talk yes. to Ariana how are you doing good 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 thank and welcome you. to the show thank you okay <laughs> um, we, we respect athletes quite a bit here as you can tell it's a sports program and uh, we want to really focus on the motivation of the players mm -hmm. uh, what, what turned you or made you turn that corner and say I want to go with softball and play play softball well i actually i started playing when i was eight years old okay and so i kind of just got into it like that like like keep like continue playing and then went to the travel ball team mm -hmm. and like i just have the heart for it it's okay. such a fun game and i just i just love playing it okay and, and you are now second year this yes. is last year you had a good experience and yes. and now right on the heels of a very good year you're mm -hmm. right back in the fold and this has got to be very very, um, I would say, uh, uh, uplifting for you as a player mm -hmm. to see the program growing. Mm -hmm. You're growing with it. Exactly. And your thoughts on Coach Blanco and how she's taking the program? Oh, like, like once she came, she turned the program around like immediately. Mm -hmm. And with her recruits and her knowledge of the game, mm -hmm. it just it just turned it around completely. Okay. Um, and you are now in the sixth spot uh, in the lineup, hitting. Mm -hmm. um, comfortable there? Yes, very comfortable. I, I love hitting like in the six spots. So. Okay. And let's see, you've got, I, I'd say that, I used to play the same position <laughs> at one time, but I, 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 I also caught, so I'm kind of like <laughs> in both of these, played second base, but uh, shortstop is, is tough. Yeah, it is. Um, how do you, how do you, do you come to the game um, on game day when you, when you put your game face on, mm -hmm. knowing you're probably going to have a lot of handles mm -hmm. and a lot of chances in, for the day? Yeah. So you have to be leader out there, especially at the shortstop position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. It's always active in the middle of the field, right? Yeah. Okay. Coach, I'm going to let you talk a little bit about how 
how you brought uh, Ariana to him. Okay. Well, Ariana is one of those kids that I talk about being key for last year. Um, I uh, probably went to about uh, 10 of her games, high school games, trying to recruit Ari. And she was uh, definitely one of a top recruit coming out of a high school level. And I knew if I got a kid like Ari, uh, it would just snowball after that. And uh, I was able to, to get her to commit to coming to us, which was great. Um, and it was one of our first top recruits that we were able to get in a long time at ELAC. So once we were able to recruit her, she was able to help us with different connections and um, it's been really huge but Ari's um, bat has tremendously improved this year um, batting in the mid 400s right now um, but she's definitely uh, been stepping up for us this year we're really excited about that okay. and um, you uh, have been uh, rewarded by coach Blanco as starters yes. that's got to be you feel very proud about that yes does it come without hard work? <laughs> okay. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about some of the other interests. Um, yeah, you watch baseball, of course. There's the Dodgers and there's, the, as I say, the Men's Baseball League. Mm -hmm. But the women, if you're really a, a softball player, you know that we have probably the best women's softball team in the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, were you able to watch any film on them, any, anyone in particular from a UCLA or an SC that uh, maybe you look at and, and say, I'm going to maybe pattern my game after that particular player or are you, are you just involved in yourself to to really be as best as you can yeah like I see them and I see how much I have to step up just to become like one of them mm -hmm. and I want to go to that next level okay um, throw a question back to to Lizzie um, aspirations after you finish ELAC you might want to go to a division one two or three uh, to continue playing would you like to do that uh, yes that's actually what I'm working towards right now Mm -hmm. um, not only just to play, but to go to school too. I really mm -hmm. like taking into consideration like what school has like good academic programs. Okay, and um, Ariana, same thing. Yes, yeah. same thing. Okay, uh, Coach, I'm gonna give this back to you because I have a real, I think, important question for those that are watching to to know the types of Division One, Two, Three programs that communicate with you on a regular basis and say, Hey, I'm looking at your program, Coach. Who do you have that that we can talk to or? look at or come out and follow right we do have um, a, a quite a bit of coaches especially when we uh, start winning and we our ranking is higher and higher we get a lot of coaches um, a lot of out-of-state coaches want our girls um, uh, we would love to keep them in in California the only problem is California doesn't have too many uh, Division two, Division one uh, teams, uh, especially Southern California. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these girls will have to probably go out of town. Um, I'm hoping that uh, maybe we can get a couple local um, in Southern California, but mm -hmm. the the really there's more of a need outside of California. Okay. So um, they're open to it. I know they want probably want to stay in Southern California, but you do have to keep your options open as well. Mm -hmm. um, but that could be Division one down to um, Division three. Okay, um, and for for Lizzie, uh, some. Uh, excuse me, Ariana, this is a question for you. Uh, some, some of the players that were here last year, mm -hmm. um, do they come back maybe and give you guys a couple of um, uh, tips or say, hey, hi, how are you, and come back to the program? Anyone that played on last year's team that you're still in contact with? Yes, they do. Uh, a few of the players actually still play on the team. They're sophomores mm -hmm. this year. And uh, I believe one went to North Carolina. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, one, oh. one went. Actually, two out of our three sophomores oh. transferred okay. last year, so it's been great. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they, they keep the communication link open then? Yes. Yeah, they do. Okay. All right. Um, anything else that's uh, coach? Um, we've talked to the first two players. We're going to meet a couple of more, and we're winding down on, on this segment here in our second segment of the evening. Um, Lizzie Lopez? Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And uh, if there's anyone out there you want to give that shout out to, or anyone that <laughs> want to say hello to, I know a lot of a lot of the players always say mom and dad. Anybody in particular you want to say hi to? My mom. Okay. <laughs> we'll like see this now. It's going to be on YouTube, and it's going to pass be passed around. So, uh, anybody in particular you want to? Um, I just want to say thank you to my mom for always supporting me and for never giving up on me. Um, I want to say thank you to my family for always being there for me and always supporting me in my decisions. Okay. All right, Coach, I'll grab that. And uh, we're, with that, we'll go ahead and, and say thank you again to Lizzie Lopez and Ariana Atwater for uh, coming tonight with Coach Blanco and giving us a little bit of background on themselves. And we wish you the best of, of success for the rest of the season. And, and uh, who knows? Um, some good things are, are most likely going to happen to this year's team along with Coach Erica Blanco. We'll be back with our third and final segment here on East LA Sports Scene.com. Don't go away. <laughs>